Welcome back to Jetline Marvel for another thrilling episode of the aviation. Unmanned aerial vehicles are appropriate when you enter enemy territory. The pilots don't have to take a life-threatening mission. These aircraft also give the most recent information on the enemy's territory. As the majority of nations speed up the development of such aircraft and drones. India is also one of the few nations that own impressive fighter jets. Now it is interested in several defense items, including unmanned aerial vehicles, which will be the best attacking aircraft without losing the pilots. Check out some of the scale models of these unmanned aerial vehicles in this video. Number 1, Rotary Unmanned Aerial Vehicle which is also known as the RUAV-200, is a helicopter drone designed for use over difficult terrain. The conflict in Ladakh with China has made people realize that new technology are necessary in these locations. The main goals of this helicopter drone would be surveillance, reconnaissance, and supplying troops with necessities in hostile environments. It can fly up to 18,000 feet and will take the place of mules in forward regions that transport troops' supplies and rations. It weighs 200 kilograms and has a 100 kilometers range with a 30 kilograms payload capacity. Three to four times a day, it will be able to airdrop to base camps in difficult mountainous terrains, and it can also be used for surveillance missions. Number 2, Promoco Unmanned Aerial Vehicle. In cooperation with Barth Earth Movers Limited, it is developing. It is a civilian use unmanned aerial vehicle that was created and produced in the Czech Republic. The UAV Model 100 had its first flight in July 2015, and full production of the device began in January 2016. Its main application is in civilian air operations, covering everything from pipeline monitoring and remote infrastructure management to border protection and security. Due to its fixed-wing design, the aircraft has a longer range and is more dependable in bad weather. This aircraft has a maximum range of 200 km, a payload capacity of 30 kg, a cruise speed of 150 km per hour, and a flight time of 15 hours. This aeroplane has numerous sensors and a system for data communication that can be managed remotely. That is driven by the single engine. Number 3, Cats Warrior. The ability to fly and autonomously hit the target is what HAL hopes to achieve with this project. As of right now, Boeing and Airbus have developed this kind of unmanned aerial vehicle that may be used for surveillance on border areas, as well as carrying guns and ammunition. The straightway cat is it can either travel 350 kilometers and then turn around to reach the objective directly at a distance of 700 kilometers. The primary fighter aircraft will be merged with the armed drones Cats Hunter and Cats Alpha, in addition to the unmanned combat vehicle. The CATS Alpha glider can accommodate 4, 8, 16, or 24 swarm drones. Alpha is capable of gliding 50 to 100 kilometers into hostile territory and launching a drone swarm attack. Swarm drone technology is a strategy that involves releasing drones in a group. These drones are not only lightweight and inexpensive, but their advanced artificial intelligence makes them essential in future conflict. Swarm drones can cause havoc, since they are used in deception warfare, and radars or air defense systems frequently fail to detect the numerous UAVs. Number 4, Tactical Unmanned Aerial Vehicle. It was created in collaboration with the BEML and the Indian Institute of Technology, Camper. It is operated by a hybrid engine and can carry a payload of up to 2 kilograms and a maximum take weight of about 25 kilograms. It can operate with a 200 kilometers range and has an 8-hour flight endurance. Additionally, it can work between minus 10 and 55 degrees Celsius temperature. This unmanned aerial vehicle can be employed for a variety of purposes. Sending the pack drops and local surveillance.
Number 5, Rustam. Another significant unmanned aerial vehicle that has been developed by the Defense Research and Development Organization and is now in trial, with a wingspan of 26 feet and a weight of 720 kilograms, Rustam-1 will be launched conventionally rather than using a launcher like the DRDO Laxia. Rustam will have a range of cameras and radar for surveillance, and it will be able to see hostile territory up to a distance of 250 kilometers. It travels at a speed of 150 km per hour and can fly for 15 hours. It can transport 95 kg of payload to any remote location for usage in multiple services. In the comment areas, express your opinion regarding these unmanned aerial vehicles. Please like and subscribe to our channel if you are a new viewer.